Hey guys, what's going on? It's the girl, um, Selena, Selena Simone. Some of you may know me. And to my new subscribers, thank you. And um, any, if you like the video, please um, share and subscribe. But okay, you know, let's get straight to it because I'm not going to take a lot of time with this. Um, I want to talk about the situation with Bobby Valentino. I am, yes, a transgender woman. And I just, I hate that for Bobby, regardless of if he was with the girls or not, you know, that's no one's business, but I personally have worked with him. Um, I used to do hair for um, music videos and I did hair for one of his videos and, you know, we were working together alongside one another and, you know, he was really, really a nice guy. He wasn't trying to hit on me or anything like that. He wasn't, you know... He was just a genuinely nice guy. And for transgender women, you know, it's hard to find people that, you know, just accept you, period, for who you are and aren't looking at you, you know, sideways up your damn head and shit. So, you know, for me, for someone to throw him under the bus like that and me having a personal experience with him, just, you know, would work. It was, you know, nothing. He wasn't, you know, overly friendly or nothing. He just treated me like a regular person you know, gay, straight, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And if he does like transgender women, so the fuck what, bitch? You know, I feel like the girl, I don't know her. You know what I'm saying? But I know for me personally, any girl that I know that's, you know, prostituting, escorting, whatever the fuck you want to call it, gets their money at the door. For, nigga don't need to even come through the threshold without putting their money in the bag at the door. So, I don't know what the fuck this bitch talking about. How you gonna even let the man get naked without even, you know, getting your money, bitch? You crazy. So, I don't even know if that was a situation. Then I hear another girl was in the room with him, and I don't know. I just, you know, feel like it, it's a sad situation. People should not be outing people like that, you know, especially, you know, just for their own personal gain. So, you know, that's basically my take on it. You know, like I said, I worked with him before. He was very, very nice, very, very personable. Um, and, you know, to see something like this, try to, people try to tear him down like that. And, you know, other people, you know, trying to make fun of him or whatever. They will they, they fuck with a transgender woman, too. So, please, I don't want to hear that shit. So, and he's not the first and he won't be the last. So, you know, you guys start trying to make it like it's something, oh, such a big deal. Half these, you know, people in the entertainment industry do what they do, bisexual, gay, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, let that man be him, you know. But like I said, I just feel bad for him having to go through that or people dragging his name through the mud when he's really a good guy. You know what I'm saying? Really a nice guy. I mean, I don't know him, know him like that, but I know my experience with him was, you know, pleasant, you know, for working with him. You know, like I said, I just you know, did hair for the models in his video, in his music video, but we were alongside another one another, you know, and I've worked with a lot of, um, a lot of um, celebrities and um, most of them are pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? I, there's one celebrity, I won't say his name, that was an asshole, you know, for whatever reason. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Back to Bobby Valentino. I hope things work out well for him and I'll talk to you guys later. Once again, it's your Queen Selena. <laughs> Bye.